Auto-scrolling uses the duration you've defined for each song. You can set this on the Song Edit page. If you don't set it here, it will use the default song duration defined in your set list. Then when you view a song, the document button will include an arrow, and you can tap the button to start auto-scrolling. Notice that when I first tap the document icon, I see a countdown timer. This is the auto-scroll pre-roll, and it allows you to play an intro and sing the first verse or two before auto-scrolling starts. Without this function, the first lines of the song would probably scroll out of view before you have time to sing them. To change the auto-scroll speed or change the length of the pre-roll, you can go to Settings, General Settings, Auto-scroll, Calculate auto-scroll duration, and select Manual. Now when you edit a song, you'll see an auto-scroll duration and auto-scroll pre-roll field separate from the song duration. The auto-scroll duration includes the pre-roll. A longer duration makes the auto-scroll run slower, and a shorter duration makes it run faster. After adjusting the auto-scroll duration, you might still need more control over the auto-scroll. One way to do that is to pause and resume auto-scrolling while performing a song. You can do that by tapping the document button, but it can be hard to hit that button accurately while performing. An easier option is to edit your layout and assign the auto-scroll start-stop action to a two-fingered tap gesture. Then you can tap with two fingers anywhere on the screen to pause or resume. If you need a hands-off solution, you can connect a remote control device like a Bluetooth foot switch. Then go to the Settings Remote Control page and assign it to the Auto Scroll Start Stop action. Or, for a completely automated approach, you can start recording an automation track, then use the document button to pause and resume the auto-scrolling at the desired times. Then you can play the automation track when you perform the song, and the app will repeat the same timing of the pause and resume events for you. An alternative to auto-scrolling is simply to jump to sections of your lyrics when you reach different sections of your song. You can do this by adding markers to your lyrics, then using the next page and previous page functions to move between the markers. Here I'm tapping the top and bottom hotspots to move between the markers. I could also use a foot switch assigned to the next page and previous page actions. I could also record these movements into an automation track, similar to what I did when I recorded my auto-scroll pause and resume events. In many cases, defining your sections with markers and then moving between the markers is easier to set up and easier to read than auto-scrolling. One more option, if you really want to focus the singer's attention on a specific line of the lyrics at specific times, is to use the Lyrics Highlighting function. You can start recording an automation track, then at the right times, double tap the left third of a line of lyrics. That line will become highlighted and will jump to the middle of the screen.
When you play back your automation track, you'll have a karaoke style display with each line of lyrics highlighted at the right time. You can see the tutorials on song layouts, remote control, and automation tracks for more details on some of the options mentioned here.